Hey Scorpios, good morning, peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot, 8 and 8. I hope everyone is doing amazing. All right, so we're going to continue with this series. All right, so this reading is going to be for those of you that are in separation with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So I'm going to break each uh, zodiac sign down in this reading. So make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Okay? All right. So spirit, angels, guys, and divine ancestors, show me what I need to see for my Scorpios that are in separation with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Please protect my energy as I open this portal. Let no weapon form against me. Show prosper. Please return all dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitoring spirits, offline and online, away from my home, channel, sacred space in this reading. Return the energy back to sender. Tenfold. So more to be. They say, amen, amen, amen. All right. So spirit angels and guides, show me what I need to see for those Scorpios who are in separation with an Aries. What is going on between Scorpio and this Aries? So, Five of Pentacles. Tell me more. For those Scorpios who are currently in separation with an Aries. All right. And we have the Ten of Wands. Hmm. So, it looks like this person could be going through some challenging times right now. This can be health-wise. <clears throat> This can be financially, someone could not have a place to stay, or this person is truly missing you. A lot of this from the separation has really took a toll on this person. It's a lot of burdens. So this person is, you know, going through hard times, it's really taking a toll on them, or they're missing you and it's really, really, what's the word I wanna use here? It's like it's almost an everyday stress. It may have been between like 10 weeks up to 10 years you guys have been separated. Hmm. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. For those Scorpios who are currently in separation with an Aries, what's going on? I'm hearing this person has a lot of responsibilities. It's a lot on them not sure if they're able to take care of the responsibilities that they have currently seem like they're going through some dark times here all right so ace of pentacles tell me more for those scorpios who currently are in separation with an aries so capricorn taurus virgo energy and we have the three of wands hmm This person wants to have another opportunity, another chance with you, Scorpio. I'm picking up there and missing you. And they're like waiting on a sign from you for you guys to have another opportunity when it comes to a relationship or marriage. Okay. This person still desires you in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. So the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. So this is someone who definitely wants to take action to come back to this home, this marriage relationship. Okay, this person is hoping to win you over again. They're still in love with you, still have passion, chemistry for you. They're in the energy of taking action. They know what they want, they know what they desire, and that is you. They're definitely wanting to have a new chapter, a new passionate beginning with you. This person seems like they have a lot of sexual energy as well. Mm-hmm. But seems like someone is keeping things stuck and stagnant when it comes to this connection. Yeah. Wow. All right. So tell me about the Ten of Wands. For those Scorpios who are currently in separation with an Aries, male or female. Ten of Wands. Scorpio in separation with an Aries, male or female. What's the Ten of Wands? Oh, wow. Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person is really going through it. They're stressing, they're worried, possibly depressed. Person could be crying. They just have a lot going on in their life right now. Tell me more. Ten of Wands. 
And of course, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse. You know, this is someone who wants to have this relationship again with you. Every since you and this Aries have been separated, it's really, really took a toll on them. They're wanting to spend a the block. They're wanting to come back. All they do is think about you day in and day out. The weight of you not being in their life anymore is, <clears throat> I'm hearing like it's taking effect on their body, not on their mind. Well, it's in their mind as well, but it's on their body as well. Mm. This is a very, very heavy burden. Mm. Let's see. Not a swords in reverse. Not a pentacles. King of pentacles. Six of cups. Mm. So it seems as though... When this person had the chance to come in and talk to you or take action before, they may have not done that with the Knight of Swords. So you chose to level up in your life. You chose to be okay with being single, focusing on your business, your home, having security, prosperity for your own self. Yeah. But this is someone who, yeah, they're definitely wanting to reconcile, come back together. Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. I feel like for you, Scorpio, you took advantage of the single life. So I feel like you're just building right now. You're like the boss in your own life. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. All right, so this is for those of you guys that are currently in separation with an Aries, okay? So this Aries definitely wants to come back around. You guys being in separation, it's really took a toll on them. It's bothering them day in and day out. They're waiting for you, waiting for some type of sign, waiting for the opportunity. This person is missing you and wanting to have another opportunity, another chance. Yeah. All right, so let's move on. All right, spirit, angels, guys, divine ancestors, show me what I need to see for those Scorpios who are currently in separation with a Leo. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Show me what I need to see for Scorpios that are currently in separation with a Leo. Same energy, five of pentacles. This fire sign, Leo, is definitely missing you. They can also be going through some rough times, some rough patches in their life right now. And the eight of wands. Hmm. You guys are not speaking or you're not on speaking terms. Tell me about the five of pentacles. Communication may have been blocked between you and this person. All right, yeah. Page of cups in the reverse. <clears throat> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hmm. Tell me more. Five of Pentacles. For those Scorpios who are currently in separation with a Leo. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So we have the number 88. That may resonate with you. This person could be August the 8th. Personally born on that date. Hmm. So this person may be out of a job. Or things are just not working out for them in their life right now. With that page of cups being in reverse, I just feel like this person is not communicating with you. They're not letting you know what's really going on in their life. Like I said, you know, everyone, you know, is going through different times in their life right now. So this person could be homeless. They could be sick or their energy is just very low right now. They're trying to make it day for day. But they're not really telling anyone what's really going on since you guys have separated. Yeah. Looks like this is someone who didn't take accountability for when you, you know, whatever happened between you and them. But there's a lot of unfinished business with this person right now with the temperance in the reverse and, and the sun, Leo energy. It seemed like this person... 
is trying to stay positive even though they're going through some dark times. They're unstable. They're very unbalanced. This could be someone who's drinking, trying to drink their pain, pains away. Yeah. Yeah, someone here is being blocked from you here. The chariot in reverse, two of wands in reverse. This person may not have transportation. Hmm. All right, so let's keep going. All right, tell me about the Eight of Wands in the reverse for my Scorpios that are in separation with a Leo. This person could have Virgo, Taurus in their chart, maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also, I'm getting Scorpio, you're choosing not to communicate with this individual. You're not interested in working things out. Three of Cups. Hmm. Tell me more. Okay. Five of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. King of Pentacles, Six of Cups here. I feel like you found peace from this separation. Hmm. I, I really get that you guys may have blocked this person out. And with that Three of Cups, I feel like right now you're just enjoying your life with family and friends. Being, It's like you're not inter basically in so many ways entertaining this person. So it's like if we don't talk, we don't talk. I'm not putting any effort into this situation anymore. You're just going to have to miss me. This person may have came off very childish, very immature. And that could be why you are ignoring them right now but they're definitely going through a lot behind the scenes and it's not just financially they're suffering this is mind body and spirit things are just not working out for them hmm. but i feel like you're choosing to just be at peace don't go back and forth you know the war is over you don't have to deal with the pettiness the childishness anymore you're focusing on yourself your money your bag career home and family Hmm. Wow. All right. So this is what I have for those of you guys that are in separation with a Leo. So this person could be an August 8th Leo or you're seeing 8-8. Eight, eight. All right. So last but not least, spirit angels and guides for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For my Scorpios that are currently in separation with a Sagittarius, show me what I need to see. For my Scorpios that are currently in separation with a Sagittarius, what's going on? Okay, Six of Wands. Tell me more. Okay, Magician. In the reverse, so Gemini, Virgo, energy. They may have it in their chart, or you do. Hmm. You felt like you dealt with someone who was definitely a con artist, a manipulator. With that Six of Wands. Hmm. It's like someone is trying, this person is trying to get your attention some way shape or form they're wanting to win you back at all costs mm. what's this six of wands scorpio you could be getting attention from others as well what's the six of wands for my scorpios in separation from a sagittarius six of wands
Okay. All right. So we have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Six of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Hmm. Oops, sorry. I'm going to put this down a little bit more so you guys can see. All right. So Sagittarius. Those of you guys are in separation with the Sagittarius. Hmm. A lot of you guys have moved on from this situation. It was hard, but you moved on. And now things are looking up for you. Good things are happening. I feel like the universe is proud of you for leaving this situation. Six, six could be resonating with you or that's a number that's relative to the situation. Hmm. You had to find some type of peace, some type of balance within your life as you recover from this separation. I'm here like the universe is proud of you for getting out of this. With that King of Pentacles, a lot of you guys are just working very hard. You know, whether this is an actual job or um, you are your own boss. But I feel like you're right now, you're in a winning season. You focus on, you know, providing for your children, yourself, home, bringing prosperity and abundance into your life. So if you are a female, you're more in your masculine energy right now. So you're cooking, cleaning, nurturing, providing. You're doing all of that. You're doing it all. Yeah. All right. And we have Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords in reverse. Seven of Cups also in the reverse. And then the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So, in your energy, you're no longer giving this person another opportunity to come back in your life. It looks like someone is dealing with a third party, Queen of Swords in reverse, or this can be this person that you feel like is very much of a liar, talks too much. You're not willing to give them another opportunity, male or female. You see right through the illusions, the BS that they took you through. You're not falling for the okie doke anymore. Yeah. Oh, someone's getting karma. Yeah, I'm picking up a mother energy here. You may have Taurus strong in your chart. Mm. With this two of cups here. And especially with that seven of cups, it's like you're seeing through the illusions of the relationship that you guys once had. This could be a soulmate or a twin flame. But I'm just feeling like right now you're getting awarded and rewarded. Like the angels are really covering and shielding you. There's a lot of good things that are happening for you now since you guys separated. Hmm. So someone here is definitely going through some type of judgment, karma right now. All because they didn't take accountability because they did an empress very wrong in this commitment or relationship you guys had. But I'm still feeling like this is a third party here. And you're refusing to give them another chance, whether it's the third party or not. You're not giving someone another opportunity. Mm. Wow. Wow. All right. So tell me about the magician in the reverse. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some of you guys, um, when it comes to your work, whether you're employed or self-employed, you may have recently received some type of accolade or reward for your hard work from a boss or something. Hmm. All right, so Magician in the Reverse. For my Scorpios that are currently in separation with a Sagittarius. I'm hearing it's like you when you walked away or when you decided to leave this person and let them go. You bossed up here. Things started looking up for you. Money started looking good. You may have moved up to like a boss, CEO, supervisor in your relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. Tell me more. Magician in the reverse. 
you have all the clarity that you need when it comes to this person who's a Sagittarius that there's no more chances. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. You have all the knowledge and the wisdom and the clarity that this manipulator, this con artist, someone who's not using their power in the right way, you're no longer opening up to giving them another chance here. But this is someone who's definitely stalking and watching you. They are. Whether they know where you live, your social media, whatever it can be. They're definitely, you know, paying attention, trying to see what you got going on. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, you're looking good out here, Scorpio. Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Hierophants. Some of you guys, you may be doing tarot readings like myself, or you're into some type of deep spirituality. That's a business that you're doing. Some of you guys are red witches. Very confident, beautiful on outside, beautiful on inside. You may have Virgo, Leo, very strong in your chart. But you are, even though this person is stalking, watching, trying to see what you got going on. Little, What they're seeing here is how the universe and your ancestors are blessing you. How you're doing good without them. Yeah, and how much you definitely have moved on. Yeah. You're determined to move to the next phase of your life. Wow. All right, Scorpio. So this is part two series of those of you guys that are currently in separation with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And Scorpio can be your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? This person um, may have, of course, Gemini, Virgo in their chart. Uh, Scorpio, you can have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in your chart. Sagittarius here with the temperance, okay? Peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Of course, as always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And I will see you on the next reading. Bye-bye.